What is going on everybody? My name is James. Welcome back. Episode number 10 in my path to power. We have the Turk Cell Super League side here and uh, we're going to try to get one more game out of them. We're going to try to win this cup and then they're going to be on their merry way as we pro proceed to build yet another squad to try out all of the wonderful players that could fit in some form of a starter team. This year on FIFA 16 Ultimate Team. So we're coming up against Pui Nugget. And uh, I wasn't really sure what to think. I saw his team and I thought, all right, he's got five-star skills up front. Two four-star skilled strikers with plenty of pace, Braithwaite, and uh, the guy whose name that I can never remember that I'll eventually have to figure out because I think he's going to be quite common and quite frequent. And be Bovu or something like that. I don't know. I could be wrong. Gives away possession cheaply to Wesley Snyder. Nice little run from RVP. First time fake shot actually works. Going to lay this one off there to Tura. And he's... Oh, 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 oh. If I hadn't scored that, I would have been angry. I would have been angry. Because that should have been easy as you'd like. Simple finesse shot right into the bottom corner of the far post. Uh, give it away kind of easily right there. Somehow messed it up with the left back on the interception. Plays a perfect ball across though. Nods it home. Nice little early cross. Love seeing those. Uh, but it is 1-1 one, one now. 75th minute. We're looking to get our last chance right here. Played inside of Enon who's taking up a nice position. Plays it to Wesley Snyder. No mistake about it. Touch a little bit fortunate. Maybe not what I was intending in my head. But it took it past the player. And you got to be an opportunist, and that's something that I don't think uh, is is really thought about that much. Um, it's something that's a key thing in, in real football and in FIFA as well. You know, when when the bounces go your way, you got to take advantage. You can see the frustration setting in right here. Goes for the slide with Gonzalo Lance, takes out Wesley Snyder. 90th minutes already, two one. We're gonna give this to RVP to step up and. Talked about it, I think, a little bit before. RVP, only 60-something pace, but he's a really nice striker. And I've actually had someone tell me as well that Falcao was a really good striker, even though he's got the pace downgrade. And he's not so much El Tigre. He's more El Quite these days. But we do win the tournament, so we take home the coin total and the gold pack to go with it. Very exciting stuff of winning this gold tournament. You can't actually sell these players on, which was a bit brutal. We get Dominguez and an entire steaming pile of mediocrity. Couldn't even be a rare pack. But I'm going to keep some of the stuff that I think could help me out for a little while. And this is when I realized that I couldn't do it. But I discarded it anyway because I just didn't want to deal with having it. Or no, I think I sent it all to the club, actually. That would have been the smart move. And I'm sure you guys would have been, uh, Japes, like, why would you not keep them? In case you need bench players for a tournament in the future, things of that nature, they would be important to have. Uh, and managed to pick up one too many Super League manager items, but that's okay. Someone will inevitably buy it this early in the game on a buy now 200 coins. You can see our uh, Super League players have sold on. Some guys we made some money on, some not so much. Sold some of the Brazilians as well. Alexander Pato made a couple hundred coins, and those of you guys that are, this is from, I think, the gameplay maybe pre-weekend, uh, so... Depending on where you're watching this, YouTube or Vessel, this might be a little bit behind for you, but that's a-okay. -okay. The principles are still inevitably going to be the same uh, with the full game release. We're standing 16-1-1 and one now as the overall record. It could be doing a little bit better, but we still have 20,000 coins to build a fitness team with. And I have this brand new 4-1-4-1 team. I had to try out the formation because I like the idea of control in the midfield. It's very similar to the false nine with the two CMs and the DM. You're just moving... Uh, the striker up and the left mid and the right mid or the back from the left wing right wing idea. These are the um, instructions. I'm putting everything on aggressive interceptions. I don't really know what to do. I didn't put stay forward on my outside mids. I put cut inside and get it behind though. I just didn't want them way too far forward where I felt like I was counterattacking too much. I wanted them dropped a little bit deeper to help with a slower build up play. Force me to slow the game down and play to more, you know, play the way my players are facing with simple little A pass, which I like is what I like to do anyway, but I wanted to make sure I wasn't getting in the habit of looking for hero balls. Picked up Perrin and Gold, those 90 reflexes, 950 coins, Licksteiner, 2,000 coins on a buy now. Best right back in the Serie A for 2,000 coins, can't complain, DeVry. I was trying to pick him up for less, but eventually a buy now 1900 popped up, took it. Same thing with Castan, 6,000 coins. Probably the, there's definitely the most expensive player we paid for at this point in Path to Power. Patrice Evra, really, really nice left back option with that 82 defending. We kept Elan from our Brazilian team. He is a great budget CDM. Kuba Blashikovsky doesn't have four star skills, doesn't quite have the pace. Still a fantastic player. This is the guy that you have to pick up for a starter Serie A team. No ifs, ands, or buts. Bora Valero, 750 coins. Got a deal on. Pjanic. 
2100 coins for him he was selling for buy nows of about 7500 coins so we're gonna be able to make a tidy little profit on him when i was lurking around the 59th minute stefan you really really nice well-rounded striker on this game and i've talked about it before i think the well-rounded striker is something that's gonna matter and i went out and i looked and i said oh man i need some fitness cards you know it'd be fun let's go open a few bronze packs so i figured it wouldn't take me that long to get what I was looking for in the bronze packs. Now, send some stuff to the club. Got 200 coins, so I'm going to definitely make those back. Some new kits in there as well. Always exciting. Well, always a little bit of fun. Maybe not so exciting for you guys. But the bronze pack method is something that's been around for a really long time in FIFA, and I thought it was worthwhile for me to touch on. Now, what the bronze pack method is, is basically you buy these 400 coins bronze packs, you sell everything for even if it's at their minimum price, and the contracts don't really sell, but the players, some of them will, and there's all the fitness cards definitely sell. And you sell them for even at their 150 coins, you just need three things to sell and you'll have 450 coins versus just the 300 coins. You can see the game kind of messes up a little bit right there. Not going to focus too much on that because these things, I don't know, it's, I mean, it's early. I'm sure it's getting patched or getting fixed or whatever. But you'll make 50 coins profit if three things sell from the pack. So sometimes when you have four, five, six things sell, then you'll start to get going a little bit better. And you can see I'm listing these things up, hoping for the best. Some of the badges and the you know the kits and all that stuff that's really what you're looking to sell but of course me liking to switch around kits and that sort of thing i just sent it all to the club hoping that these guys will sell on i'll just continue listing them i have room in my trade pile so it's really not that big of a deal uh but we go finally get enough fitness cards to be able to put them on my players we can head into our first match with this team i want to thank you guys for sticking with me thus far also massive shouts to you guys this has been some incredible support on this series um so far absolutely love it it is extremely encouraging so thank you guys for that the wonderful comments the likes the you know the thumbs up or whatever the views the tweets you guys just let me know that you're enjoying what's going on so i do appreciate it eagles or die is our opponent and you can see nice and slow there are lots of options to pass the ball in this formation i really really like it paris such nice overlapping run we're gonna just wait until a defender has to close down pianich versus rushing that ball out to paris Hitch. back inside to pianich we'll have valero easy as you'd like lovely pass and move lovely first goal with this format this is the first time that i use the formation this is the first time that I've used these Serie A guys. So it's a complete test. I didn't know what to expect. We're in Division 8 right now. So definitely some decent-ish players where we've come up against guys that aren't just for the first time, you know, in Division uh, 9 or 10, though it, it could still probably be pairing us with those guys. But for the most part, these guys will have played a little bit, and their teams are going to be A-OK. -okay. Nice bit of work here from Pjanic, waiting on that overlap. Lovely ball, Koopa Blasikovsky. Absolute wonderful buy, um for you know basically just discard he might not have ridiculous stats and all the things you're looking for but he's a really really well-rounded and higher rated player um than some of the you know maybe more pacier wannabe flashier options that are below him and this is something that i'd encourage you guys to look at as well when you're you know debating on how you and this is the luckiest ball out wide that i've ever seen but somehow it falls to blashkovsky and you'll see plenty of opportunities come over from his side man it's just a slip free inside waiting 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 finds the right pass one more time borja valero in the box again in the right place definitely go out and pick him up Syria seems to be wonderful for a semi-budget ish team and i think eventually i'll maybe look to transform this team into a three back formation to try to test that out a little bit because there are wonderful center back options obviously devry not really pacey at 66 pace put him right in the middle though he's he seems to be a really really strong solid defender and i like that i like having a player like that in my team at least this year the pace does not seem to be the most important factor when it comes to defending. Uh, but what I was saying with Blashikovsky, the high-rated players, and I mentioned it before, if it's a high-rated player with good passing stats, which Blashikovsky almost at that 80 passing, same thing, I picked Perisic, though he's got the five-star weak foot and the four-star skills. He's got really, really nice, well-rounded stats, and it works out. Allen getting in the box, I didn't want to shoot it with him because the layoff was too easy, the smart pass, the insult to the injury that was the first half of this guy. I mean, he basically, his ankles have been broken, both of them badly it's gonna take a lot for him to come back in this one 58th minute now a little bit fortunate right there twice he kind of panics uh and it's blashikovsky plays a lovely ball to alan on the volley smashes it not really into the corner but 
hard enough that it got past the keeper. So I was all smiles there. Six, nothing. The biggest or looking to be the biggest win of Path to Power so far without question. I have not... In fact, of all the games that I've played on FIFA 16 so far, this is by far the biggest scoreline. Lovely ball there from Pjanic. And Pjanic, I think, is great as well because of his high passing stat. Really, really fortunate goal that the cross from Blaszkowski goes off the defender and into the back. And then I try to start scoring, start scoring some extravagant goals for you guys uh, and was unable to do so. 9.7 there from Kuba. So all in all, a nice win. Hopefully we can keep things going well with this formation. Only time will tell. Again, I want to say thank you to you guys for tuning in. Thank you for your support. If you did enjoy it, like thumbs up is greatly appreciated. Other than that, my name is Japes, and I will catch you all next time.